welcome back guys in this video i will be showing you how to correctly dimension a figure traditionally now for dimension we have dimension line we have extension line when we have arrows yeah first thing you want to ensure that your extension line should be perpendicular should be perpendicular to each of the sides this side that side now to draw a perpendicular line using your regular using this first you draw a line you want to ensure that the one of these longer strokes for example this stroke is placed directly over notice this is placed directly over that then we draw yeah Again, remember, let's ensure that this one of this longer stroke, this longer stroke, for example, this one is directly over that. And again, I line this here. Let's use this one. And I draw. So I get a perfectly perpendicular line. Yeah? No, for dimension. Remember now that your dimension line should not, your extension line should not touch the figure. That's important. Your extension line should not touch the figure. So I'm going to use this because this seems to be a little bit more pronounced. Yeah. So now to, to draw my extension line here, I'm going to align, align, say this long stroke here. I align this long stroke along the line right there. And I'm going to draw my extension line out. Like that. Remember, the extension line should not be too bright. And again, I align this long stroke here. Let me bring my assist going to the other side. I align this long stroke here. And I then draw an extension line down like that. The next step is to draw a line parallel to the extension line. You want to ensure that this distance and this distance should not be more than 10 millimeters so i draw that line like that and the next step is to draw my arrow so to draw a nice clean arrow you want to start here you don't want the pencil too close you want to start here and you want to go like here start here then go out a little bit like that start here then go out down start here down and out a little bit then go like that yeah so we start here to go down the line then curve out a little bit start here then go down then curve out that's how we get that arrow for the next arrow again we you see that is this thing so we go like here Then we shade this. That is done. Now we need to stay the, the distance for this. So we're gonna measure here. That is 80. So we're gonna write 80 here. Eight zero. Then we go to the other side. And again, the first step is to ensure that we align the long stroke on this edge. And remember now, your extension line should not touch the figure. That is one. We then rotate this. Align up that. Draw our next extension line. Ensure there's a little space right there. These are too bright. Yeah? These are too bright. The next step is to ensure that you have a distance of... What you could do, you could use this distance. You could use this. You could use, you could use this as, as a guide to determine how far you draw it like here yeah then you come like this down and out down and out yeah please don't let arrow be too thick too wide all right it doesn't look good again we come here down and out down and then curve out a little bit then go across next you want to measure this distance measure this is five you're going to add 5 there. 
you go again to this side again you align we have a long stroke along the line like that then we draw up like that so remember always leave a space of about three to four millimeters between the object so again we rotate this bring this out to the edge and i'm going to use this as a as a gauge so i'm going to align align this on the line so it's good to use a ruler that is clear then go across like this then start in here go down the line down the line then out down the line then out yeah go down the line then out down the line then out next step is to measure this is 90 so we go nine zero and that is how we we dimension a figure so remember extension line dimension line arrow text there should be a gap of approximately three to four millimeters between the extension line and your object yeah your extension lines should not touch the figure next thing your extension lines should be very pale i think these are too bright all right your dimension line which is the line that has the which line that tells the distance normally has two arrows at both ends yeah so that is how we dimension an object okay remember also the x dimension line should not be closer than 10 millimeters to the object Thank you for watching guys. Peace out.